celebrated temples of maharashtra by shri saravanan ayer over to you saravanan sir namaste namaste to all <coughs> hari om see we have been seeing the temples of maharashtra you all remember what all the temples we went through in the past yes sir bima temple temple ganapati pule okay 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 yes sir no. fine 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 okay now this week we are going to see again two very famous ganapati temples in maharashtra okay now first we will be seeing sri mayureshwar what is that mayureshwar mayureshwar uh, yeah. people people also call him moreshwar okay because the original name was mayureshwar as people people start pronouncing mayureshwar mayureshwar it became moreshwar okay and there is also a reason <clears throat> you know what is mayur peacock yeah peacock correct here ganesha correct here here ganapati here ganapati lord is having his vehicle his mount as a but sir sir you are mute i mean audible now yes sir yes sir yes sir now yes sir but the ganesha's vehicle is mouse right mouse was the vehicle but in this particular temple the the history of the temple the 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 story behind the temple at one period of time lord ganesha had more that is mayur as his vahana okay that's why here he is called as mayureshwar and this particular temple here <coughs> is near pune from pune it is about 60, 65 kilometers and the temple is located in a place called moregaon sir can you sir my sir i have visited you have visited there wonderful yes sir because okay. my uh, because my uh, aunt and uncle live in pune oh very good very good just now uh, madam was talking about ashta sirangivi right likewise there are Ash, there is ashta vinayak temple in maharashtra have you heard of it there are yes, eight sir. ganpati temples yes sir yes, sir. yes. yes sir. okay we are yes, we are going through that one okay of ashta vinayak eight vinayak temples this is the first and foremost temple and suppose if somebody is planning to visit ashta vinayak temple somebody wants to visit all the eight ganesha temples in maharashtra they start at moragaon they start with mayureshwar temple it is the number one and first and foremost in ganapati worship also people start worshiping ganapati no in that ganapati worship it is one of the oldest and the foremost in ganapati worship what is ganapati worship called worshiping of ganapati is called adi shankara found six ways of worship right yes ganapatya remember yes Yes, yeah, we saw six. Yeah, uh, we saw six ways of worship: Ganapatya, Shiva, Vaishnava, Shakta, Saura, Kumara. Remember, Kumara. So yes, in that sir. Ganapatya worship, this yes, particular Mayureshwar, yes, yeah, the Ganapati here, Mayureshwar, he is one of the first and foremost of Ganapatya philosophy or the Ganapatya sect. Uh, so Ganapati worship, almost they say it started here. Okay. <coughs> and this particular temple was built by one saint by name moraya gosavi what's his name moraya gosavi gosavi not goswami gosavi 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 yes yeah we i gosavi yeah later there were peshwa king kings who were ruling this part of maharashtra they started you know building it further and they expanded the temple and this is one of the very popular very powerful and uh, widely worshiped temple from those days from the kings days and prehistoric days and all that and <clears throat> according to ganesha purana you would have heard like you know every god has a purana right yes shiva purana is yes, there for sir. shiva skanda purana is for kartikeya likewise there is ganapati purana brahma purana correct likewise there is a, something called ganesha purana in that ganesha purana the story of this particular ganesha is available in that ganesha purana 
<clears throat> actually the here ganesha has six arms and usually ganesha you can see him as in a dark color dark complexion but here he is of white complexion very bright and he has six arms here and he is sitting on a pika okay and you know ganesha was the son of lord shiva lord shiva lord shiva and parvati exactly lord shiva exactly lord exactly. shiva and mother parvati yeah he took the form of moreshwar here mayureshwar uh, there was a purpose for his birth in this place in this moregaon as moreshwar here he was born <coughs> to fight a battle fight a war against the demon king called sindhu there was a demon king by name sindhu okay that particular uh, sindhu he was a very uh, what to say very evil uh, uh, asura who was born to a king called chakrapani and uh, his wife name is ugra there was a king and queen demon king called chakrapani and queen called ugra so this particular sindhu is, uh, was the son of chakrapani and uh, ugra he was born from a ocean due to a due to a boon they got the parents got he was born from the ocean so he was named as sindhu sindhu means is a vast ocean okay and sindhu was worshiping sun god surya bhagwan okay and surya bhagwan blessed him with a bowl of nectar bowl of amrita you know amrita Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nectar of immortality. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the nectar of immortality. So he was blessed with a bowl of nectar, bowl of amrita by Surya Bhagwan, and the Surya Bhagwan told him, "How much ever amrita you want, you can drink from the bowl. It will keep on coming. It will never go down. Okay, you can keep on drinking. But there is only one condition: if the bowl." gets broken or gets damaged the amrita will start stop coming out so what sindhu did he took the bowl from surya surya bhagwan sun god and he didn't wait for you know drinking it slowly without breaking the bowl and all that instead out of his greediness he swallowed the amrita along with the bowl he swallowed it fully along with the bowl he swallowed it okay so the amrita went inside along with the bowl and you know what happened once he drinks the amrita the bowl is also not damaged bowl has gone inside so he became a super power he started threatening he started scaring all the three worlds like you know the world uh, above the god world the devas and the in the earth he was threatening all the humans the sadhus saints well, everybody he was tian pata yes patal and again the patal loka also so he started threatening everybody because he became the super power and nobody can kill him then what happened the, all the gods devas indra everybody went along with the sadhu saints and all that they went to lord ganesha and pleaded lord ganesha please save us this particular demon is you know uh, killing everybody killing the saints threatening the devas you know as uh, he was he was he was totally ruling he has become the super power so <clears throat> what happened ganesha took the form of mayureshwara he came here he he was seated on the peacock hope you are able to hear me yes sir yes sir okay. i will hear you <clears throat> yeah yeah yes, he sir. took the yeah he took the peacock he he went and fought the battle with the sindhu asura and you know what he tore him he tore the stomach and he rescued the bowl from his stomach and the demon sindhu died there and he rescued the bowl and gave it back to sun god so that's how uh, he is uh, it's, it's a place of victory whoever wants to win whoever wants to win in life win in the sport win in the education people visit this particular mayureshwara and get blessed by him and this particular after this war after uh, defeating sindhu lord brahma built a temple for ganesha here and also got him married to siddhi and buddhi 
you know there are two concepts for lord ganesha yes sir riddhi siddhi yes. they are also called siddhi and buddhi so he got married here and after this war after getting married he was seated on the peacock he gave that peacock to his brother skanda so that's how skanda has peacock with him and he gave the peacock to skanda and started staying here and started blessing people from here that is the story of mayureshwar here <clears throat> and you know what most of the temple the god will be facing the east direction you would have seen right in any temple you go 90% of the temples the god will be facing the east but here unusually ganpati is facing the north okay the temple is facing the north and you know what there is also a nandi inside the temple facing lord ganpati usually nandi will be facing lord shiva in shiva temples but here nandi is also present in ganesha temple that is the speciality of mayureshwar temple got it after he gave the peacock to skanda the mouse mushika came back to him and the mushika is also present here in front of ganesha lord ganpati that is the speciality actually, of actually and sir uh, is like this in the uh, namaskar pose uh, uh, yes uh, in the front of ganesha right exactly 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 sir actually Because, when uh, ha, ganesha lord ganesha got mushaka as a vahana when he defeated another another asura and turned correct. him into a mouse correct correct okay but here for this purpose for uh, you know defeating sindhu he took peacock with the blessings of his mother and fought the battle and gave the peacock to his brother later okay and there is another temple ashta uh, out of ashtavinayak like you know uh, there is another temple called chintamani temple have you heard of chintamani temple no sir no okay no, sir. it is again very near to pune it is only 25 kilometers from pune we can travel in half an hour 45 minutes to chintamani temple it's in a place called teyur are you getting the name it's called teyur t h e u r teyur teyur yeah. yeah again this temple was also built by the same moraya gosavi the same saint which i told no, earlier who built the moreshwar temple the same person built this temple also okay here what happened is there was a sage called kapila kapila rishi have you heard of kapila muni yes sir i have heard yeah. of him he was a ancient sage <clears throat> you know once uh, there was a king called ghana there was a king called ghana he went uh, he he visited sage kapila's ashram okay sage kapila invited him to his ashram he visited uh, kapila's ashram and sage kapila hosted him a very grand feast very grand lunch okay and the, the gana was wondering the, the that particular king was wondering how a sage living in the forest without any facility how he is able to host such a big feast then kapila explained him sage kapila had a stone it's a jewel stone called chintamani okay he got it from he got it out of his tapas so that stone he had that stone can grant whatever wish he want how many people to feed you know even if he has thousands of guests he can feed them with having that particular stone so gana asked for the stone from sage kapila sage kapila said he cannot give that stone it's a godly thing and he is owning that particular stone okay but since he refused gana sat snatched it from sage kapila and he went out okay and the sage kapila didn't know what to do and he went and prayed ganesha then ganesha what happened ganesha appeared in the say gana street that particular king you no know, gana devan king he appeared in his dream and he chopped off the head of that particular gana okay and he he got the dream the gana got the dream as if he is being chopped by ganesha and the stone was taken back from him then what happened like you know he gana went to the uh, kapila's uh, kapila's uh, rishi's ashram and he destroyed the ashram seeing this 
Lord Ganesha actually went to him and he chopped his head and he killed the demon, rescued that particular Chintamani stone and gave it back to Sage Kapila. That is the story of Chintamani temple in near Pune in Maharashtra. Okay. Sir, and I have he... also heard that uh, after uh, Sage Kapila said that uh, no Ganesha, it's more sa safe uh, uh, safe in your, uh, you take it because it's more safe with you, not, uh, not with me. Not with uh, Kapila, but still uh, Ganesha handed over it to Kapila because he has to serve. Sage Kapila has to serve the world, no? So it is. it, it was given to uh, Kapila. <clears throat> so and, Kap uh, and Kapila Rishi got back the stone and he started serving the humanity. You, you are able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Particular war against Gana, Ganesha's wife, Siddhi, she came to help Lord Ganesha as assistant and she created a thousand armed warrior called Laksha. Okay, he became the Senapati and he went along with Ganesha to kill Gana. And that's how the Chintamani came back to Sage Kapila. And Kapila started, you know, living in the ashram again. And the Ganesha settled there in this particular place called Chintamani and he is being worshipped there. And later stages, it was found by uh, the same Muraya Gosavi and he built the temple. Again, the same Peshwa rulers who built the Moregao temple, Moreshwar temple, they again expanded the temple. They made it bigger with a lot of other gods also present in the temple, like Lord Vishnu is there, Lord Shiva is there, Lord Hanuman is there. You know, a lot of, lot of shrines came in the same temple. And the Peshwa kings who built the temples, this particular temple, their palace is also very nearby, just behind the temple. Now that palace is also used by the temple now and it is functioning as the office of the temple. Whatever day-to-day -day activities of the temple, that particular, uh, all the administration is taken care of from that particular palace. It is given by the kings. The palace has been given by the kings to the temple. So now the palace also belongs to the temple now. So that is the story of Mayureshwar and Chintamani Vinayaka. Okay, these two are these two also belong to Ashtavinayak Temple of Maharashtra. Okay. Sir, it is very interesting to know. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and <laughs> Ganesh Chaturthi, Ganesh Chaturthi is nearing. You know, it's just one month ago, one month away from now. So let's all finish this Ashtavinayak and have a prayer for special prayer with Ganesha. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. I'll finish with this. I think my time is already up. I'll take leave of you. Namaste. Hari Om to all. Thank you, Sarunan, sir. Hari Om, sir. Hari Om, thank you. Sir. Thank you so thank much, you, Parthaji. Hari Om, sir. Hari Om, sir. My pleasure. I feel it's a blessing to talk to you all. Really, we are, the, we are getting to know more about uh, our temples. Thank you. Thank you. Really. Thank you. <laughs> it's an opportunity for me. Thank you. Thank you. So children, just uh, make points of whatever sir is telling. And when you visit the temple, you go through the points. Then you will understand much better. Okay, Amma. Okay. Yes. Okay, ma'am.